My name is Stanley Fishman. I've been a patient of Dr. Fingers for four and a half years. When I was first diagnosed with diffuse iris melanoma, it was a, a rather frightening and daunting experience. Uh, fortunately, Dr. Finger was able to guide me through the process uh, very calmly and in a low-key fashion. And uh, throughout all of the uh, subsequent uh, treatments and recovery. Uh, during that time, it became uh, very important to have uh, very supportive care at home, and that's why I turned the floor over to my wife, Florence. Hi, I'm Florence Fishman, and uh, as Stanley mentioned, it is somewhat stunning to hear the diagnosis of uh, the melanoma in his eye, but we had the fortune of having Dr. Finger guide us and treat Stanley through the process. Uh, my role was as supporter to him once the plaque was uh, placed on his eye surgically and we had to spend the week um, treating that eye. How we did that at home, a few points I'd like to share with you. Um, he, he is a patient, he has had surgery, he will probably be tired, uh, needs some rest, and so you want to provide an environment at home that is quiet and uh, allowing him for the rest that he needs. Um, it's somewhat daunting to think of a week with the plaque on the eye, but we tried to come up with some uh, ideas to make the week more pleasant for him. Uh, one of the things I did was to make it a week for uh, venture in the food department and to come up with meals that were interesting, exciting, and fun for him, um, perhaps by inviting from restaurants, places he might like to enjoy the meals. Uh, that would fill some part of the day. Uh, when not eating, we tried to fill the time with other uh, meaningful ways for him. One was, of course, uh, books on tape that we were able to borrow from the library, a whole variety of interesting topics. Uh, now you could, of course, download uh, on Kindle and other media um, opportunities. Um, music was another source of entertainment and uh, restfulness for him. Uh, there's uh, opportunities in Pandora, Spotify, and iHeartRadio, lectures, TED Talks, and other ways that you can fill some of that time uh, since the use of the eye will be somewhat limited. Um, we did have to keep separated from each other. There was a six-foot uh, distance, um, which is strange. We had to sleep in separate rooms as well. Um, so at that same time, there are relatives and friends who may want to visit and you would have to discourage those visits. However, you could have them call, uh, speak with Stanley on the phone, but again, try to limit and be a gatekeeper for those uh, opportunities and those events. Um, was there anything else? Yes, yeah. I'd just, uh, just like to add that uh, one of the things to keep in mind is that there can be uh, small irritants uh, that can be a little scary, uh, but once you find out that it might be nothing more than an eyelash or a piece of the surgical, the suture, um, which can easily be taken care of, uh, then those, those issues die down, and then you're really spending your time recuperating. It does take a while for the vision to return, uh, and although I was uh, very worried about that, uh, after a few months, uh, my vision returned to 2020. I uh, also just like to add that in my experience uh, with Florence, uh, the, the one factor that I think is most important is that she served as an anticipator, uh, which is something she's very good at. She's able to think about all the things that I might need uh, in, in, in before I would able to arc articulate them, and it made the process go much uh, much more smooth, smoothly and comfortably.